I'd say things on a few different levels. Let me start with one that's a little bit surprising. I think there's a high importance to firing people that aren't working. Out. And earlier in my career, really tried very hard not to fire people uh, because I felt really guilty and I thought, you know, this person's got a family, they're gonna go home, like it's really devastating for them. Then, you know, from time to time I, I had to, uh, for one reason or another, somebody I really wanted to fire ended up leaving. And what I noticed every time that that happened was that the rest of the team really elevated and like they got better. And they, you know, people who are real stars in the team just didn't have like the oxygen to grow and to get better. And it really caused me to shift my perception away from focusing on the individual who was was struggling and not, you know, living up to what was expected and really shifted my focus to the rest of the team and the impact it was having on the team that somebody like holding them down and holding them back and like sucking yeah. up oxygen that that real stars in the team could could breathe and, and jump into. And when I made that shift in my thinking, really focus on the, the people who were performing, the people who were really like elevated rather than on the individual who was not, I think it allowed me to grow much better teams, to be a much greater leader for teams and, and to give people the room to grow that they, they needed.